In the late 90s when I worked for Montana, my CEO used to walk around the office at 5.30 and physically turn off our computers because we're in the business of talking about and um, I guess selling wine. And he said, you know, you can't sell wine if you don't have a social life. You know, you've got to be out there and understand where wine fits in. And I think the same thing is now with an employer and the internet, if we don't know what world we're part of, how can we communicate or sell into or service people in the environment if we've got no clue? Things like YouTube, we should be watching YouTube clips, we should be seeing what's current and having a play in that space. Or else we're shutting ourselves into a, um, a box that we will never be able to get out of. We use it primarily, um, well, two reasons. One's community, and one is um, customer service. And in customer service, we can, if there's a problem, we'll um, address it, and we'll address it immediately. Low moderation and. Um, let people be free to say what they want to say. And in terms of community, we encourage people to send us photos, which we put up on the wall. We talk about things. We we just talk and interact and we communicate without telling things. We just sort of reveal and show and discuss. There's three examples of what I think has been really successful for AUT on social media. One is tweeting from public lectures, and we've had some fun with that because then we can tweet the commentary and people are getting to see it on their tablets. Um, one, another one we did at graduation last year and a little bit this year was getting people to show us what's under their gown at graduation because everyone wears a big black gown and yet they've spent hours and days and months picking out their outfit. So we got them to show it and we um, got, you know, okay, you know just pop it and they'd all... Sort of, and everyone loved it because it wasn't just in that moment in, in the photos, but everyone kept talking about it afterwards. And they also got a professional photo of them in their outfit, being happy. And um, the other thing that we did was, um, beginning of this year during orientation, we had lots of new students to campus. So I walked around with whiteboards, gave them a whiteboard, and they wrote a message on it. And um, lots of people just, and then they'd be in groups. And it was just fun. And what it did, what it did was show the community of AUT. And just, it was quirky and weird, and there was some good and some bad, but it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. A couple of philosophies at AUT, and one of them is that we say we care, so we've got to show we care, and I think this shows caring. I think it shows that we're, we're not just getting bums on seats, that actually we have an environment and we encourage a, a community of people. But I have had, and will see this, and do see this, as students saying, by the looks, of, they even say, they'll tweet, by the looks of the photos on Facebook at AUT, it looks like a fun place to be. And, and they, it just nails it every time.